What's up YouTube? So today we're going to talk about foam rolling. So I'm going to walk you guys through one of the, uh, Matt and I have been doing this routine for a while now. So the, the thing you do with foam rolling, it's called SMFR and it stands for self myofascial release. So what that means, you're basically applying pressure with your body weight on the muscle and that pressure is actually releasing knots, releasing lactic acid. It's actually going to help uh, lengthen the muscle and it's going to prevent injury. Um, a lot of sports teams are now doing foam rolling. They have foam rollers on the sidelines, uh, basketball courts, football, uh, baseball, they got all of it. They also are doing what they call per percussion therapy where they actually hit the muscle repeatedly and it does a similar thing. It's releasing knots, releasing lactic acid and it allows you to actually increase your mobility. It's been shown, there's been some studies where people have actually rolled their hamstring out and later after rolling they were able to have a greater range of motion in the hamstring. So I'm going to walk you through the routine. So first thing you guys need is a foam roller. This is just a big piece of foam. It's actually pretty soft. It looks solid but it's not. Um, you can also get these kind. There's a cheese grater one here somewhere that I'll try to find. But first thing we do, turn to the side so you guys can see. Hold on. So we're going to... So you can start out doing one leg at a time. Um, that's going to be the more advanced way to do it. Um, if you want to start out with two, that's fine. You're just spreading your weight, your body's weight. See how I'm kind of just holding myself up here. Um, when I do it, I cross my legs and I'm putting a lot of, a lot of pressure on the hamstring. I'm going to move this a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> the problem is so, squat like that was very painful. I'm going to fast forward through this part, so don't worry. It doesn't matter what. You know what I mean? I'm going to talk, and then I'm going to fast forward through this. Perfect. Okay, guys, so what we're going to do is switch legs. I'm applying a lot of pressure here. It's, it's uncomfortable. Um, the advanced way to do this is actually using a PVC pipe, so this is nothing compared to actually rolling your muscle across a pipe, which is only for after you've done this for a few solid weeks on end and you have your muscles used to it, or else you're going to have bruising that happens from this. So, right now I'm just feeling my hamstring. I did eight and a half miles yesterday, so this is a perfect time to roll out. And, I mean, it hurts. This is never... It's never really an enjoyable part of the workout. If it is, you're probably not doing it correctly. So, after they're feeling pretty good, we're just gonna roll down. So we're gonna roll the calves out. So same concept here. I'm holding myself up. And applying as much weight as I can on the calf here. You can rotate your leg. So now I'm hitting what you guys just saw on the camera. Now I'm rolling over that section of the calf. And it should hurt. Switch legs. Go for about 20 seconds of pressure per, per muscle group, 20 to 30. I have it tilted it down. So. Okay, good. Uh, okay, so we did the lower leg on the back side. Now we're going to do the booty, also known as the glute, gluteus maximus, and glute med, which I'm hitting the glute med here more, which is the side. kind of rolling out the muscle. It's gonna hurt at the beginning and then it should actually feel not too bad. Switch sides. Alright, so 
So to get the, the quad, we have to get a little creative. So what we're gonna do is put it down here. Just gonna kinda sit and lay my body weight on it. Oh my God. And roll the front of my leg over it. And then you can go from the inside, which I'm on right now, to twisting the leg here and getting the outside of the puppy quad. Oh my God. This is gonna be probably one of the worst ones that you do. This feels terrible right now. When you do, when you do this, it's gonna it's gonna feel terrible. The cameraman, he's it's gonna he's doing it next after just running his half marathon. So. Uh, so you're gonna get that. Jump over to the other side. We can get to that guy later. whole routine, uh, maybe 10 to 15 minutes. You're up six and a half. Yeah. I'm going a little faster then. I'm going a little faster here than what I would if I was doing this for a video. I want to keep it relatively short for you guys, but the idea here is I recommend doing this at the beginning of the workout. It's going to help wake up the muscle. It's also going to help you get the nervous system ready. Um, what I'm doing right here, I'm actually flexing my leg. That's another important part of this. When you're rolling, don't roll it across a relaxed muscle. <laughs> Try to roll it across a partially flexed or fully flexed muscle. It's gonna help beat it up a little bit more. <sighs> All right, so when you're done the legs, this is my favorite part. We can crack our back. So, when you foam roll, you want to hit, you want to hit mid back and above. You don't want to be rolling over your low back, which already tends to arch, because you can actually injure your lower back to it. That area is not meant to have external pressure applied to it. So you're going to start mid back here, like I am. Core's up, legs are firing. Roll over the mid back. Put your arms up in the air like this will help engage. Then you can go here, get up even higher into the trap area. Just for my back crack two times. The other thing you can do then is go off to the side. Really hit the side of the back. Whole body right now. See, this is what happens. Turn 29. Turn 29, and your body starts letting you know that your life's about over when you turn 30. I used to never foam roll. I thought it was a total waste of time. <sighs> Amateur mystique. Nine minutes. <laughs> That's not the most forward dad, it's gonna be like four or five. It's not the most pleasant angle. We'll then change it. <laughs> Alright, so that's how you film roll. You can get creative and use the you can use the cheese grater one if you want. You can use this. This might crack your back a little bit better. It's gonna even unevenly apply the pressure. Um, but I try to I try to do this every every day. Um, I also do it when my body tells me. Like if I'm really beat up now, like I am, it's a great time Sunday to come in here and do this. Do some light functional work to get the body moving in the right way again. 
So if you guys have any questions about foam rolling, shoot me a message on my Instagram, check out the website, make sure you hit that subscribe button, thumbs up my video, it makes a big difference. I really appreciate it guys. And I look forward to bringing you some more content soon.